Hello all, welcome to Tech Tapter, myself Vishal Bulbule and in this video we are going to see what is Terraform state or a Terraform state file. So uh, first we'll see theoretically what is meant by a Terraform state. So here you could see Terraform state must store about your infrastructure and the configuration. So the state is used by Terraform to map real world resources to your configuration. And the state is stored by default in local file named terraform.tf state, but it also can be stored remotely, which works better in a team environment. So we'll see the meaning of these all lines one by one. So Terraform must store state about your managed infrastructure and a configuration. So what does this mean? So suppose I'll go to my VS code here. So what here I'm doing here is I'm just creating a simple storage bucket. Okay. So let me create this storage bucket. So this is very simple and small piece of code I'm using to create one GCS bucket in Google Cloud. So I'll just uh, run Terraform in it. So it will just download the plugins. Okay, now you could see it created plugin files here and log file. Now we'll run Terraform plan. You could see there is no state file yet. At the left side keep an eye so we'll just execute terraform plan okay so file created and we'll see if it keep there or it will disappear as we are executing for first time and you could see the terraform state file it disappeared for now but we will see the plan so in plan you could see it's created one bucket storage bucket we will go to my cloud console here so here is no bucket tf this tf000 no bucket available so i'll do a terraform apply and i will use at pro so it will not prompt me to type yes so you can use this at pro flag and once i did terraform apply it created this terraform.tf state file here in the local directory so in our main terraform code folder it created this terraform.tf state now coming back to my console i'll refresh this and you could see the bucket created with multi-region us location and tf000 now let me go back here so this is stored by default in local file name terraform.tf state so you could see it is stored in local terraform tf state and our storage bucket is created now suppose if i want to execute the same code again i'll just do terraform init i'll just do terraform plan okay now you could see what it is doing so first line a refreshing state so it is checking what are the resources we have in our configuration so we have this bucket and no changes your infrastructure matches the configuration so how it is confirming that your infrastructure is matches the configuration so it check in the state file so here you could see refreshing the state it means it is checking that state file if i go to terraform state file and here if you could see the resources okay in resources what we have so we have google storage bucket and the details are here bucket id bkt gcp dev tf000 it means we already created this resource using our terraform code and this is available in console so it is being tracked in terraform state file so suppose if i remove this state file you just check the difference so currently we have the state file it is reading the state file let me run terraform plan again okay so it is showing no changes because it is reading the state file in state file it is seeing okay the storage bucket is already there and what i will do i'll just uh, remove this state file okay i'll just delete it and i'll execute now there is a no state information in our terraform folder so it should not check there and it will try to create a bucket again and it will fail we'll just do 
terraform plan okay now you could see it is trying to create one bucket so as per plan it is saying okay the terraform code will create one bucket because there is no state file where it could see the bucket is already created and now if i do terraform apply it will try to create bucket and it will fail because there is no state file so if i do terraform apply it will fail because bucket is already present okay here you could see previous request create name bucket succeeded and you already own it conflict with google storage bucket tf state so here there is no resource in terraform state because nothing is created with the same code and this terraform file state file is still not updated now how it is saying your previous request of this bucket succeeded and you already own it so it is checking with the terraform it is checking in the console and it is having the bucket already created here now suppose if i delete this bucket okay and i'll execute the same code again now it will execute without any issue because there is no storage bucket and also the state file will be updated you could see the resources the state file is updated now and it added one resources in the state file so it is checking in the state file so now just take one more example now i want to change the region from us to us east 4 so i just want to keep my bucket as a regional not a multi-regional now i made changes in the same but our terraform state file having location us now if i try to make this change we'll see what will happen so i'll do terraform plan again okay so here you could see one to add one to destroy what uh, it means it is trying to delete and create new bucket so you could see minus and plus it means destroy and create replacement so what it will do it will destroy the bucket which we created earlier and it will create a new bucket with the region us east 4 okay so let me do a terraform apply again and i'll immediately go here and i'll refresh the tf00 us is there let me refresh it deleted and now it will create new bucket yeah it created new bucket us east 4 and now if you check it might check in your terraform tf state as well now location changed to us east 4 now suppose if i try to add one more bucket so i'll just add code for one more bucket tf test 2 and here i'll just mention one and if i execute terraform plan here we have code for two bucket but in plan it will show only one bucket will be created okay so here you could see plan 2 one to add so it is only creating bucket from tf test 2 in our second module here and bucket name it is taking what we have given here okay tf001 now how this terraform code is understanding okay out of two one storage bucket is already created and second one is not yet created and we have to create it so that's because of the terraform state file so if it is checking in the state file in state file you could see there is only one resource with the name tf test is the resource name and bucket name will be this one now if i scroll down okay 
here there is nothing I'll just run terraform apply and another bucket resource will be created here so just see the terraform state the file length is 48 lines and if I do apply it should increase the terraform state file and add our new resource as well yeah you could see so we created one more resource here tf test 2 and let me go here it created a new bucket now suppose I will update something in the storage bucket configuration okay which is not we mentioned in the now this default storage class I will update to near line and or call line okay, let me update to near line and let me see so I am updating this manually which is not we have mentioned in the terraform configuration so storage class is there in a state file even though we haven't mentioned it in the configuration this information is available in the state file so I updated it manually now I will see what will happen if I execute a plan okay so what it is saying terraform you selected provided resources sections are indicated with the following so it will update again from near line to standard because it is trying to match our resources in google cloud to the configuration in the terraform so let me go back so as for terraform state file so as per terraform state file this tf001 storage bucket should be having class standard but we updated it manually as a near line so it is again trying to change back to the standard as per our state file so let me see here so this state is used by terraform to map a real world resource to your configuration so that is the second line so you have to make any changes in your terraform manage resource using the terraform itself as it will overwritten by your terraform state file now if I execute a terraform apply so it will again change your bucket to this will change to standard again currently it is near line and if I refresh it's changed to standard again so whatever changes you have to make in terraform manage resource you have to make it in the terraform itself now suppose I will change this bucket which is not created by terraform so i will make changes into this bucket and i will change the class to near line so there won't be any issue in terraform because this bucket is not created using the terraform and this storage bucket entry is not available in your tf state file so it will show no changes and it matches the infrastructure see because your terraform state file only contains code for two resources that is your two state file okay now what will happen if i try to comment this storage bucket code so i just comment it okay and so always remember commenting is very dangerous in terraform it don't work like other programming coding now if i just commented this second bucket and i'll execute terraform plan okay so it is one to destroy and now let me go back to terraform tf state okay so it is still having entry for your new state file which is having your terraform test to bucket as well now let me do terraform apply and it should delete this bucket because commenting code will delete your resource so tf001 will be deleted okay 
and this resource also will be removed from terraform state file we'll just go back to terraform state and again your file length is back to 48 and there will be only one resource so now your terraform state file contains resource only one storage bucket and there won't be any change in other storage bucket if we make any manual change so this terraform state file in local the name is terraform.tf state but if we can work along with a team and currently this terraform state file is in my local but suppose we have a team of few members like four members or five members and they also want to work on a gcp resource creation but i have terraform state file in my local and if you they want to create some resources how they will create so for that we need to keep our state file at a remote location so we will keep state or manage state at a remote location we'll see that in next video how we can manage terraform state at a remote location so thank you for watching this video